You know, if you really wanted people to like you, you wouldn't be murdering their dogs. Cops constantly complain about people hating them, and then they go murder people's pets. Tonight, four Maryland residents are suing the Prince George's County Police Department. They say three officers illegally went into their home, detained them, and shot and killed their dog. David Kaplan live in Upper Marlboro at a news conference that just wrapped up, David, where body camera and cell phone video was played. I know a lot of people are asking questions. How did this happen? Uh, what are you learning? Yeah, sure, and that video can be tough to watch. We will show it to you here in just a second, an edited version. This happened in 2021. There was a report in an apartment complex of a dog biting someone. That is what police were responding to. Police got word that this dog they were looking for might live inside an apartment. No one answered on the apartment's door when they knocked. They tried to talk to somebody they thought lived in there uh, who was not necessarily giving them any answers. So the officers... Which... You don't have to give cops any answer just because they come to your door asking you questions. Uh, if they don't have a search, well, they can't come into your house. And so if a cop does come to your house, yeah, just be quiet wound up tracking down a maintenance person for the apartment building, getting a master key and going inside the apartment that way. That was all. Is that even legal for cops to do? Like, if your door is locked when the cops come, can they just have a get a key from your maintenance worker or your landlord to come into your house? Or if you just decide to tell them no, you don't want to talk to them. They can just break into your house. All on video as well. How are you, sir? We need access to one of your apartments here. So this edited version of the video gathered by attorneys was played today. It does show the officers using the key they got to get inside this apartment. At one point, one of the four residents demanded to see a search warrant. Police did not have one, according to the attorneys. The video shows... Wow, okay, so they encounter a person. It said that they were asking for a police warrant. And the police started to abuse the resident. Um, assaulting them because uh, this is assault just because you're a police doesn't mean you get to put your hands on people shows the officers at times putting their hands on the tenants as they work to get them out of the apartment their attorneys say police didn't have a right to be in officers did show their guns as well one of the residents wow and then they were threatening uh with threatening them uh with a taser wow and these are supposed to be the abiding cops who are just there to protect people and enforce the law. How is this protecting people? Breaking into a person's house and uh, threatening them with violence. Residents opened a bedroom door. A dog, Hennessy, came out with him while police were in the apartment. Video does not show the dog attacking anyone, but officers appear to have opened fire on the dog. One of the tenants crying as the dog laid on the floor eventually this dog Hennessy had to be euthanized Erica era so why why is it okay for cops to break into people's houses and shoot their dogs and assault the residents but if a regular person were to do the same thing they would be put in prison for being a danger to society Arzo Sanchez, one of the plaintiffs, was inside the apartment. She spoke today. I no longer feel safe in the presence of the police officers, and I will never trust them ever again. I would not wish the pain and terror and the emotional suffering we are going through on my worst enemy. I will never forget what happened to us and Henny, and it plays back in my mind every day. The physical, mental, and verbal abuse we had to go through was just despicable. Their attorneys say these four residents were detained through this incident. However, they were let go after all of this. After about an hour, these attorneys say never charged with anything. This lawsuit... So, these cops just break into people's houses, kill their dog, assault the residents and then just leave 
and we're supposed to accept that as something normal for cops to be able to do because if anybody else did this they would be going to prison seeks 16 million dollars in damages but it also seeks what they say needs to happen, a culture change inside Prince George's County Police to prevent anything like this from happening again. Sharin? Yeah, that video is hard to watch. No doubt more questions need to be answered here. Uh, David, what's Prince George's County telling? Uh, what, what are the police department telling you tonight? Are they verifying any of their officers' actions as being allowed? Or, or what are they saying tonight? Well, Sharin, they are verifying the actions themselves, and they did that in 2021 when there was a public press release about what happened. They didn't say illegally in this press release, but they did say that the officers did obtain the key maintenance key to be able to get inside of the apartment. Prince George's County Police would not comment specifically on this litigation, but they did say they did take disciplinary actions against these three officers as a result of this incident. We'll have much more on all this coming up at 530. Sharin.